Now, what do I mean by fine-tuning? The idea is any old universe would not permit the existence of life. There are very special conditions on the laws of nature, which we call fine-tuning. Seemingly trivial changes in the laws of nature would make life impossible. For example, people think, well, the charge of the electron, it's a little more, it's a little less. What does it matter? No. It matters very much. A slight change in the magnitude of the charge of the electron would make life impossible. What about gravity? It's a little stronger, it's a little, it's, it's, it's a little weaker. What does it matter? No. If the gravitational constant were slightly different, life would be impossible. Now, the way to explain this is by examples. So I'm going to give you one example which shows what I mean. Life on Earth is dependent on the energy of the sun. The light and the energy from the sun one doesn't have to elaborate on the idea if the sun didn't exist, there could be no life on Earth. What is the sun? Well, the sun is an enormous, enormous ball of tiny particles called protons. When you hear the word sun, think of millions and billions and zillions of protons, and these protons burn. Now, it's not regular burning like a campfire here, it's thermonuclear burning. And the thermonuclear burning, a special thermonuclear burning, is the source of the energy of the sun. So that's very interesting scientifically, but what does it have to do with the fine-tuning? And the answer is that there are other possibilities for the protons. They could react by exploding. And if the protons reacted by exploding, the entire sun would explode, there would be no, no Earth, there would be no stars any place, and life couldn't exist. Or third possibility is the protons wouldn't, wouldn't react at all. Then the sun would be a cold ball of protons, and the Earth would be a lifeless rock rotating around the Sun. And what is, in fact, the magnitude of the nuclear force? It is exactly in this narrow band in the middle that makes the protons react, but by burning and not explosion. And calculations show that if the nuclear force were 2% stronger, the protons would react by explosion, the Sun and every star in the universe would explode, there would be no life. If the nuclear force were one and a half percent weaker, the protons wouldn't react at all. And therefore, again, the sun wouldn't shine, and therefore there would be no life on, on Earth. But fortunately, the strength of the nuclear force is just right in the middle. The protons do react, but it's by burning and not exploding. The sun shines, and we are enjoying life here on Earth. Aren't we lucky? The anthropic principle. What do we learn? What does a believing person learn from the anthropic principle, from the fine-tuning which led to the existence of human beings? I want to emphasize, this does not prove anything. There are all the scientists that I quoted, much more distinguished than I am, who discovered and speak about the anthropic principle. They remain total atheists. It doesn't prove anything, but it supports my, my belief. My belief is that if God really exists, and if God created the universe, I would expect that human beings would, uh, would come to exist, and there would be fine-tuning, the necessary fine-tuning, to lead to human beings. It supports my belief. My belief is based on faith and not on proof. There is no proof for the existence of God, but I believe that there is a lot of supporting evidence to support my faith from the extropic principle, from the fine-tuning.